You guys seem like cool guys. Got hair similar to mine. You wear tuxedos to the interview. That's funny. It's ironic. I get that. You're kind of underplaying the whole formality of it. I think that's funny as hell. So let's do this. You know, you guys are hired. You're in, you know, unless you're like the weirdest guys ever and I don't see it. Great. Is that a fart? I don't know. I can taste it. You all right? I told you I have a problem with red meat. You got to admit that was a good burger though, right? You sure you all right? Yeah, it doesn't last long. Just a little flatulence. Oh, a little flatulence? An elephant could take a shit in the back seat and it wouldn't smell that bad. Can we just let it go? Remember hearing something on TV about colon cleansing. They say everyone should have one. I'm thinking about getting me an appointment and go down and get my colon cleansed thoroughly. You want your colon clean? Fine, I'm gonna clean mine. <laughs> yeah, now my colon is clean. I'm talking squeaky clean. What happened, Neil? You gotta start breathing gas. Don't break gas and destroy our meal. Don't tell me to stop. You wanna brought up colon cleansing and all that mess. I did not say anything about breaking gas. I said that I was gonna get my colon clean. No, you can talk about putting a tube in somebody's ass, but I can't break wind. I didn't say nothing about putting no holes up nobody's ass. I well, what said, you think of colon again? You think you run an asshole by the car wash? <laughs> See, choking the baby. Now, long as I'm I'll do what I want to do with this thing. Case in point. Who that call my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is. <laughs> Keep in front of me. I talk this between the crack of your ass. Yeah, you know I can go all night. Keep it fuck. Fuck. I hope you fought to your asshole folks. <laughs> oh, my baby, too. Oh, now, see what you made me do? God damn it, I messed up my pants. <laughs> You didn't answer my question. Are you happy? Of course I'm no happy. Look at me, I'm a big fat slob. I've got bigger titties than you do. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book. I've not seen my willy in two years, which is long enough to declare I'm legally dead. I can't stop eating. I eat because I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy because I eat. It's a vicious cycle. If you'll excuse me, there's someone I have to get in touch with and forgive. Myself. Oh, God. Sorry. I farted. It's a long road ahead. Protecting the safety of the Queen is a task that's gladly accepted by police squad. For no matter how silly the idea of having a Queen might be to us, as Americans we must be gracious and considerate hosts. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant Revan. Of course, we all have a stake in seeing that this portion of the Queen's American Goodwill Tour is completely and we can all take pride that the Queen has chosen our city. Um, indeed, it is 
for all the people who will be able to share in the uh, celebration, especially in the will be the Queen's public appearances. I just got a big headache. Wow. What, I was hit by a train or something? I didn't see anything. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I hung out with your friend Janine this weekend. I hope she's doing your brother right now, you big-headed buffoon. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got more. Anyway, the sooner you get back to uh, work, the sooner you'll be partnerized. I taste shit. You do? Stacy, did you put shit in my lunch? Oh. I'm gonna get going now, sir. Oh, Stacy! It's all right, Roman. Hello, Inspector. I'm Zanya. You do not know this, but I am intimately familiar with your work. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> Did you say that Booth was soundproof? Yes. Your Honor. Look at this list of complaints. And I quote you directly, sir, when I say... <laughs> Gee, sir, I thought you only got contempt of court for opening your mouth. 